Aaron's being sweet up outside. Yeah, no, I can't tell me who you are. I'm Faith. Faith Bernard, and this is Gina. Gina Hello. And are you Twitter girls? Yes, yes we're, twi- we we're Twitter girls. Oh, <laughs> how's my cute. Twitter husband? Hey. <laughs> I'm Sundog. And Sundog, how many tweet ups have you been to? Uh, this is my third tweet up. And what do you think about tweet ups? I think they're great. I'm meeting a whole different group of people that I would have met. Not, I don't meet at normal social things, so it's great. I enjoy it. That's wonderful. And you encourage people to come to the tweet up. Yeah, I've been on Twitter for two years. I'm about 13, over 13,000 tweets, so I've been around a while. Oh my gosh, that's great. So what's your favorite part of Twitter, girls? What's your favorite part of Twitter? Favorite part? Um, I actually, I'm connected to somebody in Sedona that sends deals. Ah, uh, deals. So what kind I found of deals? Something today: five thousand postcard, heavy duty postcard, UV protected flyers for a hundred bucks. Wow! You guys send me this. Deals, deals in Sedona. That's who it is? So I'll make the plug for her. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Okay, I want to know about deals in yes. Sedona. <laughs> and what's your favorite part of Twitter? Uh, tr- well, try not to get overwhelmed. <laughs> yes. I, I've got. You know, my favorite part is. Just feeling more connected to people. That's you great. Know? Yeah. That's more awesome. Connection. Yeah, meeting meeting your community. Meeting your community yeah. and learning how to use it in a more effective way. I'm still in a work in progress on that. I think we all are. Yeah. That's great. So look at there. we got Twitter show right on the window. We were driving by. We would have missed it. Oh, my God. And there we are. Oh, I did say that it was up there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So here we are with people inside and artwork. And artwork. What a fun day. And here we have Francis Flynn Thorson. And my second Flagstaff tweet him. Great. I love it. I love it. Flagstaff. Flagstaff is excellent. Nice idea to have it in an art gallery. Leave awesome. it to Paul. Here we are with the owner of the special tweet up place, and he's going to describe everything you need to know to come visit. Hi there, my name is David Grandin of the Grandin Art Gallery, located at 20 North LaRue here in Flagstaff, Arizona. It's a rainy day today, and I'm so happy to sponsor the tweet up. And this all the show came about because of my friend Mike Frick, who today. Twitter show, and um, so he took people's Twitter profiles and made his own unique paintings from them, and they're fantastic, and I'm sure you can find them on Twitter, and um, so we're going to have this Claire Anna Rose singing tonight, and uh, once again, I'm, I'm proud to be a host of, of uh, the Twitter Twitter show, and we're with we're with Steve Lauman, aka Buffalo Kid. Buffalo Kid on Twitter. All right. How long have you been tweeting? Oh gosh, for several months now. Okay. And And have you um, uh, been to a tweet up? I have. Okay. Did you go to the one at Monsoon? I did not. We went okay. to the one at the uh, Picasso Pizza. Okay. And that was flag tweet up. And then I've had a couple of very informal tweet ups where it was just a few individuals too. So. Great. Yeah. Now, since you're coming back for a second, how come you like tweet up? Uh, it's just like seeing the faces behind the, the tweet. The profile. Oh, cool. You know what? It's so much fun to see what's you know, what's on the other side. That's great. Greetings. I'm Eric Neitzel, and this is my first tweet up. I, uh, I've been on Twitter for quite some time, but I've never really been to a tweet up before. I'm a, I'm a national disaster PIO, public information officer, and I run a service in the White Mountains called 593 Info. That's an emergency Twitter feed as well as a website and Facebook presence and a voice emergency voicemail system. So we provide emergency information to the public via Twitter, all these different mediums, so people don't have to dial 911. They can get it other ways uh, if something's going on in the White Mountains. That's great. And you're here to practice for... I'm here to practice to do tweet-ups in disaster situations. Isn't that... Promote, uh, Promote the disaster, not to promote it, but to provide accurate information, uh, whether it's a fire or a flood or some type of natural disaster, 
Oh my God. So if we have a public meeting, we're going to use the Twitter channel as, a, as another tool in the toolbox to provide information to the public. Oh, that's awesome. And tell us about your student, a Twitter student. I had, I was just in the Pacific Northwest teaching public information officers how to Twitter, mostly for the Forest Service. And uh, this, my last student, she, uh, she was just on Good Morning America showing off her Twitter skills because she's the only one in the area doing Twitter for fire information. Oh my gosh, that's great. 